It isn't over. It's really just beginning. President Erdogan's people are mourning their dead, but they are triumphant. They sense a decisive shift in Turkey's history. That after this, Tayyip Erdogan will be free to shape the nation according to his will. In the blue shirt, Salih Kaymakçı is a student of Ottoman history, Turkey's last emperors, and sees Erdogan as a visionary. So he represents for us more than just you know, the, the material prosperity. He represents like gaining our freedoms like, uh, that we can enjoy in any free society. You believe the crackdown is necessary? Well, I don't, first of all, call it like a crackdown. It's kind of like a democratically elected government and like... A, uh, arresting and thousands of people. Not arresting thousands of people, arresting the plotters of a coup. Sixty years old, a former footballer who became mayor of Istanbul, Tayyip Erdogan disdains Western criticism, telling the EU, keep your wisdom to yourself. The president spent his teenage years here in Kasım Pasha, one of the city's oldest neighbourhoods, and they revere him. Growing up here, Tayyip Erdogan rejected the rigid secularism of the old ruling elite that dominated Turkish politics for nearly 80 years. A huge part of his appeal is that he offers a sense of belonging to those who felt shut out of that society, the poor and the more religiously conservative. There are millions of them. The generations that grew up under military rule believe the coup plotters tried to destroy an order that improved their lives. Aynur Alpar has 18 grandchildren and one great-grandchild. Of course he cares about the people. He gave food and homes to the poor. Thank God. The ones before him didn't do anything. There is a vengeful atmosphere. This public humiliation of army conscripts is unprecedented. The targeting of enemies with fists and with security laws has only begun. These men have reason to be afraid. They exposed alleged corruption by the Erdogan government and criticize his authoritarianism. Their website was banned today. If we say that we are afraid, it would be selfish. There are tens of journalists in prison. We need to keep publishing. We are abused online. They can target us on the streets with guns and knives. They are capable of lynching. The momentum is with President Erdogan now. Power is flowing to him. And in this new Turkey, you are his supporter or you are his enemy. Fergal Keane, BBC News, Istanbul.